man-made fish that was put together. There's no wild tilapias in this world. If it is, it ain't around here. It ain't in none of our stores. There ain't no wild tilapia. There's farm-raised tilapia. There's farm-raised tilapia from Asia. There's farm-raised tilapia from the, um, um, like, South America and, and, and those countries. But they say if you're going to have farm-raised tilapia, make sure it's not the Asian companies, the countries, the Asian countries. Don't. It can't be China. It can't be Vietnam. It can't be none of those, man, because they say they really don't treat the fish right. They just throw any damn thing in there and let them eat it. You know what I'm saying? The tilapia is not right, y'all. For real. If you look at it, why is it always the most prettiest ass fish <laughs> in the package? Just bright pink and white. Why is it not fishy tasting? It's a it's a fish that they have created to make they they got the taste right to where they can make it where people are like, man, I don't even like fish, but I like this tilapia. That's what they did. When the last time you heard of tilapia in the 80s? We weren't talking about tilapia in the 80s. We weren't talking about tilapia in the 90s. All of a sudden, tilapia just showed up on the scene. Yes, that's what they did. They created this tilapia and people eating this shit. The tilapia, listen, the tilapia is a lazy ass fish. People eat fish for... A reason for the omega-3 and omega-6 is the health benefits of fish. Tilapia don't have none of that. Why? Tilapia is a lazy fish that waits at 3.30 or 4 o'clock when the dude comes in to drop the feed in the water. They lazy. They're like, okay, when is the, when we getting fed? They're fat fish. They don't have to go out and hunt and, and go. You know what I'm saying? They're not in the wild. They're not slim and, and out freaking fighting and trying to figure out where their next meal is from. They're just fed every day at the same time. They have no nutritional value. Zero. Look it up. Tilapia does not have any nutritional value. Get off the tilapia. I'm going to leave it right there on that one. <laughs> oh, man. I know y'all tripping on that, man. <laughs> yeah, man. Tilapia ain't no joke, man. <laughs> Yeah, man. Hey, there's some there's some serious fish varieties I have. You know what tripped me out? What was we at tonight? We went to Five Season Brewery, I think is what it is, right there on Marietta Street. We had a business meeting out there, so I was like, "Damn, what I'm gonna eat?" So I had to. I just gave basically got me some chicken and some salad. That's pretty much what I ate. But the dude next to me. He was like, yo, I'll take the fish and chips. And they was like, all right, cool. Um, the fish is a ocean catfish. I was like, damn, I ain't never heard of no ocean catfish. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so he was like, oh, I don't like no catfish. So he ended up getting a burger. But that's that tripped me out when I heard ocean catfish. But I bet you the ocean catfish better than the river catfish. I ain't about to hate on catfish because, you know, catfish, it is what it is. You know what I mean? I can't speak any ill on that. It's not a man-made, farm-raised fish. But they do have farm-raised catfish. And I, but I can't really speak on that. But I believe all farm-raised fish have the same exact issue. They're just lazy sitting there. You know, here comes our food at 4 o'clock. You know what I mean? <laughs> and then you talking about me. You calling me a trip. Listen, I'm on that tilapia. You know what I'm saying? I know some of y'all got some tilapia in your freezer right now. And you're looking at that shit like, damn. I know he talking that shit, but I'm showing him about the Friday show tomorrow. Tomorrow's Friday, Fish Friday. I know some of y'all still got that country tradition of frying fish on Fridays. And Fish Fry Fridays is fine, man. You know what I'm saying? Just make sure. You know what I'm saying? Hey, VW, that's like you said, focus on portion control. Man, that's the hardest, bro. It's like, it's like how do you get full, man? You be like, man. But you know what I found out? And from doing this thing I'm doing, when they say that your body has all the nutrients it needs, you're not hungry. If you have all your vitamin A, B, C, riboflavin, D, uh, whatever, you know, uh, magnesium, uh, 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 potassium, etc. Once you get all this stuff that your body needs, then it's you no longer have that hunger. And they said that a lot of times we do not know the difference between hunger and thirst. A lot of times we are thirsty and don't know it. So they say drink water, wait 15 minutes and see if you're still hungry. 
That's how you're supposed to do it. We don't know that our bodies do not differentiate between hunger and thirst. So that's how you do it. That's why you drink water before you eat. Drink you, you know what I'm saying? Drink some water before you eat. Drink the water, wait about 10 minutes, then eat your food. And that's where portion control comes in. You know what I'm saying? I'm, man, I'm breaking this down on it. You know what I'm saying? Nah, this show went everywhere. But that's cool because I was like, I ain't know what I'm going to talk about. I was going to talk about just the softness of the world. But it just went here. That's because that's what I do, man. When I, when I start flowing, I can't help myself. I just start flowing. And it is what it is. It's, it's, it's. Once again, shout out to SME, Stuart Media and Entertainment Network, for giving us the opportunity to be able to be heard and to voice my opinion here. And you know what I'm saying? I'm not, this is a, a, a new time frame for me because I'm not going to do a Saturday morning show since I'm doing tonight. You know what I'm saying? So I will be broadcasting. But you know, like I said, every single one of y'all, and some of y'all came in here late, but like I said, I sincerely care, you know what I'm saying, about your well being. So, if you have ailments, if you have sickness, if you have something going on and you're just ignoring it, please get it checked out. We be af- we afraid to go to the doctor to get things checked out. And we got to change that mindset. There's people that we find that die every day. Like, yo, I was just talking to that dude. Yo, I was just on Facebook with that dude. Yo, I was just on the phone with that person. And they... And next thing you know, you're sick and you fell out and, you're, and you've passed away that same week. You know what I'm saying? And the same part about everybody has an expiration date. And it, it's so re- it's, we have such an ex- expiration date that right now, and, and I'm not trying to spook nobody, but in this chat room right now, you could look around and see how many people in that chat want somebody ain't going to make it by next year. That's the reality, man. I'm not, I'm not trying to put no kind of death curse on nobody, but that's what I'm saying. That's the type of life with every day. Every day we have to appreciate. We have to appreciate <laughs> each other, man. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and tell each other that we care about each other. You know what I'm saying? That we, our family, we care about you. We, get, we gotta drop arguments. We gotta drop beef. We gotta drop problems. We gotta drop everything, man. This stuff that's going on. Hey, and uh, thank you, uh, Denise. You said that uh, you like waking up and enjoying my show on Saturday mornings. And you know what? And you know what I'm saying? It may, I may do something on a Saturday, but you know, I'm, 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 I'm trying to appease. Having this open forum here, man. This Thursday night was so wide open and good for me for the picking. You know what I'm saying? Especially having this opportunity to do it, made an entertainment network. You know what I'm saying? But that's what it is. But but listen, that's a good thing. Nikki Nikki says she lives in the doctor. That is fine. That is great because you recognize if you see something that ain't right that you feel and ain't right, you are gonna go get it right. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna go get it right. You're gonna get it checked out. You're going to say, hey, I need this looked at. I need that looked at. This didn't feel right. That didn't feel right. And therefore, you got to jump ahead of, of anybody else. You know what I mean? You got to jump ahead of somebody that's like, yo, I know I've been feeling dizzy. I know I've been this and this and nauseous. I don't know why I'm nauseous so much. I don't know why I use the bathroom in six days. That's a problem. You know what I'm saying? That is a problem. You supposed to listen. I'm keeping real. You supposed to shit after every meal. <laughs> that's, that's the reality, man. For real, you supposed to every meal. You supposed to. Sorry, that's the reality. But that's how it is. So if it's three times a day, it's supposed to be that. Some people are lucky to get two out. You know what I'm saying? Some people every other day. You know what I mean? That's a problem. You ain't got no fiber in your life. But I, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm off of that topic there. But it is, it is, the, it is, the, it is reality. It's the reality, man. You know what I mean? It's, 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 it's facts, truth. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, you need to go ahead and book that, man. You know what I'm saying? I know that copay, that big ass of that copay, man. That (laughs) 
Und dann hätten sie nichts auf sie in Tuna in Pickles. I'm sorry. That's, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please forgive me, man. Your boy just gets off on it, man. He can't. He can't help himself, man. He, he don't know how to. He, he don't have no filter, man. He don't have no filter. He just be talking about anything. And and I hope y'all listen. You know, you ain't got no kids in the room because you know I might have said a curse word or two. But you know what I'm saying. Judge me by my heart, man. Not by my mind and my mouth, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Bootsy said, I take mine. Hey, that's good, Bootsy. That's a good thing. That's healthy, man. You're a healthy man. You know what I'm saying? A lot of us aren't as active as we can be. We don't get out as much as we can, you know what I'm saying, and, and do daily exercise or whatever. And you know what I'm saying? If you're not going to exercise every day, at least eat right. At least eat right. Well, you ain't got to seriously get out and exercise because you eating right. You're not having a ton of carbs and sugars and and fats and and and, and things that you know cause issues to your body. You know what I'm saying? But for the most part, think of life like this, man. Think of <laughs> I'm laughing at you, Denise. You keep your ear buzzing. Think of life like this. Your life. Think of your life being pulled by four strings. You know what I mean? Four strings. One of them is proper diet, proper food. Another one is water, proper water. Another one is proper rest. Another one is exercise. You know what I'm saying? If you shorten or cut any one of these strings, your life is shortened. You can't live without all four of those things. All four of those things exist in 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 in, in um, cohabitation, coexistence. But if you cut one of them short, bam, your life cut short. If you ain't drink water, you dead. If you ain't eat food, you dead. If you ain't sleeping right. Not get enough sleep, you dead. You're probably going to run off the road tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? Because you can't go but so long without sleep. Your body going to shut down. You know what I'm saying? And exercise. I mean, even though you might not exercise, you you still walking your ass to, to around working wherever. You to the store, upstairs, whatever. You're doing some form of exercise. But if you didn't, man, you know what I'm saying? It's like your body's not being used. And the one thing we got to learn is... Food, although food is pleasing, food has a purpose to fuel our bodies. Once we get out of the mindset that we're not eating just for taste, but eating for nutrition and eating for fueling our bodies. Once we get into that mindset, then things work properly. Things are in, uh, are, are in harmony. But once you get out of that mindset like, yo, I'm happy around food. I'm happy or I'm, I'm, I'm happy or I'm, I'm, when I'm sad, I eat food or whatever it is. You know what I'm saying? The emotional connection you got with food, you have to disconnect from it. You know what I'm saying? You got to disconnect from it and, and, and control food. Don't let food control you. But socially, we use food for social. We use food for all kinds of things. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. Damn, big ass said bottle water is not good for you either. I keep seeing stuff about water, man. I'm like, I don't even. Want, I'm like, shit. Should we just drink it out the tap now? Should we just go ahead and just turn on the, the faucet and just put it in a freaking cup straight up and just drink it like that? Or maybe go out in the yard and use the hose or something? You know what I mean? Yeah, so you saying how do you you listen? Denise saying you walk at least four hours a day at work, but do I exercise my body enough to get it to burn fat and food? Let me ask you this, Denise: Set yourself. You do you have a um Samsung phone or or iPhone or what? You might have some a total different phone. I know Samsung has the S Health. There's other apps too, but you can record steps. My wife's goal is ten thousand steps every day. So Samsung will monitor how many steps you got. Or you can go get a little Fitbit.